This is a very important video that's going to talk about the difference between pressure rated fittings for use on swimming pool systems and non pressure rated drainage fittings that sometimes get used accidentally on swimming pool systems. I think this problem originates because pressure rated PVC fittings suitable for use in a plumbing system for a pool. I mean, they're kind of hard to find. They're not really available at your local hardware store. And if you just went to the local big box hardware store and went looking for some white fittings for your PVC system, you probably didn't find the right thing. You might not have even noticed. You might have picked up the wrong thing and glued it right into place, but you have a problem here. And I want to show you what that problem is. So the problem is, is that with a drainage rated fitting. It kind of looks like the same thing. It will fit onto the pipe you want to glue it on, but it's not suitable for the application. It is not rated for pressure applications. Look at the slip joint of these two elbow fittings that I'm holding up here. Now one is black, which is ABS, and this white one here is a pressure rated PVC one. But remember, they could both be white and it makes it harder to spot. But can you see the big difference between these? And the difference is, is the length of the slip joint, the part that you're gonna glue into. So on this pressure rated fitting here, we've got about, just less than an inch and a half. So it's one and three eighths of an inch. That's the length of the glue slip. But on this non-pressure rated drainage fitting, it's about three quarters of an inch long. So if you go and look at your pool plumbing system and you see that the length of the glue slip on your joints is only three quarters of an inch long, that means those are drainage fittings and you cannot, should not use those for swimming pool systems because it's highly likely that you're going to have an unexpected failure at some point and that would definitely or could definitely be a disaster. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can check out my website swimmingpoolsteve.com.